when we look back at the culture wars in Ireland, so over the all the big issues, be it divorce, same-sex marriage, abortion, and so on, um, the hook for all of those in terms of the um, campaigns that were run was that of tolerance. You know, you may not agree with me, but who are you to impose your views on me? You must tolerate my views as part of a pluralist society. And so I think a lot of people bought into that. But that only seemed to work one way, because for those who call themselves liberals, uh, I suppose the question I was asking in the article was, what is it that they must tolerate in the society in which we live? It stemmed from the story of uh, the president of Young Fine Gael being traduced in the media for attending a conference in America, a conservative conference. This young man was uh, given a really hard time with uh, really terrible things being said about him, both on social media and in the traditional media outlets. It was stirred up by um, media sources who then went to Fine Gael for a comment. And this was how the story was manufactured. Um, and I suppose for me, it was seeing the reaction in the press. It was uh, a symptom uh, of the kind of intolerance that we often see coming from those who call themselves liberal. And so I would hope that for those who don't uh, sign up to the new liberal orthodoxy, that they won't feel won't continue to feel that Ireland is a cold place for them. There should be a recognition nowadays uh, by liberals who are in, not just in the ascendancy, who are the establishment, um, that perhaps the attitudes that, that now uh, pervade through society can be oppressive to those who don't agree with them, particularly if they're not allowed to voice them or if when they voice them, they're treated with such disrespect. Um, and so whether a balance can be struck, I hope it can, um, I would uh, be hopeful, but, but it kind of requires that there be some ground rules established and people agree that to the idea that it's okay for other people to voice their opinions and to be disagreed with.